Hi y'all, Jody Wolfborn here, a curriculum developer at Chef. And in this set of videos, I'll be demonstrating how easy it is for Microsoft Azure users to get started using Chef Automate. In this first video, Whipping Things Up, I'll give an overview of the Chef Automate platform and describe the benefits of deploying Chef Automate as a managed service in the Azure portal. Then we'll go through and actually deploy our own Chef Automate managed service in Azure, as well as configure our workstations with Chef Workstation, which provides a quick and easy set of tools that'll allow us to make configuration changes and interact with our Chef Automate and Chef servers. Chef Automate is an enterprise platform designed to collect data from Chef's three open source automation engines. Chef for describing your infrastructure concerns as code, Inspect for automating your testing, security, and compliance concerns, and Habitat for application build and re release automation. By providing filterable and actionable insights into the configuration and security across environments and teams, Chef Automate provides a unified view for everything your team is automating throughout your estate. Microsoft Azure users can start realizing the value of continuous automation faster than ever with the release of the Chef Automate Managed Service for Azure. The Chef Automate Managed Service for Azure allows customers to launch an Automate server into their Azure account with just the click of a button, and we'll manage the updates, maintenance, and automated backups. That way, you can focus on building the automation that drives your applications, infrastructure, and business forward, and forget about actually managing the Chef Automate server itself. Now, let's take a look at how easy it is to launch our very first Chef Automate server. Currently, the Chef Automate Managed Service for Azure is in a free public preview. To sign up, navigate to www.chef.io slash automate hyphen for hyphen Azure in a browser and fill out the registration form. Once accepted, we'll send you an email with your license information and enable your access in the Azure portal. The Chef Automate service for Azure can be found in Azure Marketplace by searching for Chef Automate Managed Service. From there, we'll select the Chef Automate Managed Service BYOL ARM template, which will display a Create button in the lower right corner of the portal. Click there to begin the creation process. This process consists of six easy steps and a final confirmation. First, we'll ne need to pick a prefix, resource group name, and location for our Chef Automate resources. Next, we'll configure our VNet and subnet. In step three, we'll set up the username, password, and contact information for the Chef Server admin user and the Chef Automate user account. We'll also set up our first organization in Chef Server. Please note here that the organization name should be all lowercase and alphanumeric. Next, we'll need to provide our own name and the Automate license that was provided to us. In step five, we'll configure our backup schedule, selecting the hour and minute we want our backups to occur. It's important to note here that the Chef server will be brought down during the backup window, so be sure to select a time that makes sense for your business. And in step six, we'll select the level of log analytics we prefer and what location to log to. Finally, our configuration choices will be verified and when ready, we'll select OK. Because this is a managed service, you'll check the box to agree to allow our partner to administer to your servers when necessary. You'll also agree to the terms of service and make sure your contact information is correct and complete. Click the Create button and start the deployment.
While our server is deploying, we can make sure we're configured to use the Azure Cloud Shell and specifically the Chef Workstation and Inspect CLI capabilities that are built into it. With Chef Workstation and Inspect, the Azure Cloud Shell gives us an easy way to start deploying codified changes to our running infrastructure. We'll also want to download Chef Workstation to our local workstation, as it has all the tools we need to start interacting with our Chef Automate server. Chef Workstation can be downloaded at chef.sh and installed on Windows, Mac OS, or Linux systems. To save you time, the download link will auto-detect your running operating system and download the appropriate installation file. Once our Chef Automate server deploy completes, we can validate that we're able to authenticate both via the web user interface and via the command line utilities provided by Chef Workstation. Back in the Azure portal, select the Outputs and Parameters tab of your deployment. You'll see a lot of familiar values, but we'll scroll past those to the Starter Kit Download URL and paste that into a browser to download our Chef Starter Kit, which includes login credentials and configuration files that allow us to interact with Chef Server and Chef Automate. Now that our deploy is complete, let's start by making sure our command line tools are working. After installing Chef Workstation, we can open a new terminal or PowerShell window and navigate to our Starter Kit directory. Future videos will cover the Starter Kit components in depth, but for now, we're just going to confirm our ability to authenticate with our managed Chef server with a utility called Knife. From the Starter Kit directory, running the command knife SSL fetch will reach out to our Chef server, grab the validator key, and download it to our local workstation directory. Then running knife client list should display our default org client, Chef TV validator in my case, if everything is configured correctly. Our starter kit also contains a file with our Chef Automate and Chef server credentials. To log into Chef Automate, open the URL in a browser and copy the credentials from the credentials file in your starter kit. Once we're logged in, we'll have a few tabs available to us, though we're not yet sending Chef Automate any data. The Client Runs tab will show us the configuration details of our estate and provide us with filterable insights into the changes Chef makes each time it checks in. The Compliance tab is where we'll see compliance reports generated by InSpec. These scans can be run as part of a Chef client run or as standalone agentless audits executed over SSH or WinRM protocols. The Asset Store provides a range of out-of-the-box profiles to use in your compliance scans, getting you off the ground quickly to automating your testing and auditing concerns. Finally, the Admin tab provides facilities for adding, importing, and removing users and managing their privileges within Chef Automate. And that wraps it up for our first video. We spun up our own Chef Automate managed service for Azure, installed Chef Workstation on our local workstations, and verified that we're able to authenticate to our Chef server and log in to our Chef Automate user interface. In our next video, we'll look at the compliance feature of Chef Automate, and we'll start detecting and correcting issues in our infrastructure. To follow along with a text-based guide, you can check out the Learn Chef Rally Track at learn.chef.io slash tracks slash chef hyphen on hyphen Azure. Until next time, I'm Jody Wolfborn, bidding you adieu.